Welcome to an online tutorial as part of the Your Digital Story project brought to you in partnership by Sporting Heritage Community Interest Company and Art Fund UK. It's a program of digital activities to help those with sporting heritage collections tell their story online and improve their digital skills and literacy. My name is Russell Todd, I'm a podcaster and podcaster in residence with Sporting Heritage and the tutorial is going to demonstrate how very simply some audio can be recorded edited and uploaded uh, to create a podcast and, and done in a manner that perhaps reflects the working environment that we all find ourselves in during 2020 in the pandemic. So doing it in a socially distant manner where perhaps people are unable or unwilling to come together or the facilities aren't perhaps available to host and accommodate those sorts of discussions around the table in a very physical sense. So we're going to use a platform called CleanFeed and I'm going to walk you through the simple steps how to set that up and uh, capture the audio. So I already have a paid account with CleanFeed. There's a free tariff available as well. So I'm already logged in and I quite simply just click start. It takes you through to a very simple interface. Um, I know that I'm logged in because my name is there. And on this bar here, I have the opportunity to mute the microphone or to activate it um, when I know it's green. The bar here just demonstrates that the noise levels. Green is your acceptable level. What you don't really want is going into the, I'll bring the microphone closer to me, into the amber or the red because it distorts the sound. And that's a nice little visual guide for you. Over on the right hand side, we have some very simple technical settings, um, many of which will be fine just on the default that you uh, find yourselves uh, with when you start. I'm using a USB connected Blue Yeti microphone, so uh, I'll use that, but others are available, not least the, the uh, inbuilt microphone my laptop, laptop has. I can also click on uh, here that's just um, uh, is to do with the channels, left and right, and again, both is, is default setting, that will be fine. And this controls the gain. Gain, very simply, is the level of the sound that goes into a microphone, the microphone receives. If volume is the sound, the level of the sound that comes out of the speakers, gain is the set level going in, and you can control that in much the same way that you can control volume. And we'll be coming back, that, back to that in a moment when we have a, a guest join us. So, I just want to check some settings for the audio recording. And the default setting in clean feed is speech optimized. And of course it's a podcast, it's people chatting. And so that's the ideal setting for us. There's a couple of others there. If we were looking to capture some music or we're looking to do something in a sort of a mono or a stereo capacity, but as I said, speech optimized default setting, that's what we want here. And again, the default setting under the playback device again is probably what you will need is just your simple playback speakers. If you have other speakers connected to your technology, to your laptop, to your computer, whatever, then you will find those in here. But for me, for this purpose, the default is fine. And there we have it, basically. Now, a podcast tends to be a conversation or an interview involving more than one person. Monologue isn't necessarily the most interesting of podcasts for people to listen to. But of course, you know, that would be feasible uh, if in a socially distant manner, you're talking about your own personal collection or archive of sporting heritage memorabilia or artifacts. However, for the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to invite a guest and that guest's name is Belinda. And I will type Belinda's name in here. And I have the opportunity to email Belinda. I'll just make up an email address for her. And uh, I can either send that directly to that email address, though it will never get to us as it's, as it's, uh, it's a fake email, or I have the opportunity to send it myself. I can set for how long that link is valid, uh, 24 hours of the default, that will be fine, and that she will connect immediately on use. Um, but as I said, I will share the link myself, and I can do that via perhaps a text message or you know, an email from my own address rather than direct from CleanFeed or WhatsApp message, something like that. So I'll click Invite, and then I very simply click Clipboard, and I have a link to send her, and she will then get that and click on it, and that will bring her to the room where we can move to the recording. As you can see, Belinda is in the room. How are you, Belinda? Hi, I'm fine, thank you. So I'm going to click record now and okay. for this, 
we simply need to give the name, uh, give the recording a name, and so I will call it your sporting story demo. Uh, you have the opportunity to add a day and a time to the file name. The default is that it is ticked. Uh, you can simply untick that. I find that useful. Certainly if you are doing lots of recordings in a condensed period of time. So if you're recording in bursts, but then you will edit at leisure afterwards, it just helps you organize those file names. So I tend to uh, crack on with, uh, with with the default setting of the date and the time to the file name. You then have the opportunity, and this is really, really key, you have the opportunity to record different number of tracks. So for the purposes of this, I won't go into the technical details of it, but I want the multi-track. So what happens there is my browser records me, how I'm speaking, and it will also separately, and that's the key thing, record Belinda on her own. So there'll be no, uh, no me on Belinda's track, there'll be no Belinda on my track. And if I want it all to be in the one mix, just a single track, I would click the everyone setting, but that can make it tricky to edit. If I just wanted Belinda and didn't want to pick up my voice on this, then I would go guest only. And of course, you've got the opportunity for only yourself and not guests. But for this, multi-track is, uh, is what I want. And as it says, it's perfect for detailed post-production. And the quality is always key with the podcast. If people can't hear it, the, the, the audio quality or people are talking over each other, they can get quite fatigued and they will then tune out. Not only that episode, maybe all of your other episodes. So when I'm happy with all of that, I click record and you now see that again, it's not, it's not really cluttered the, the interface uh, much at all. I've now got file name, your sporting story demo. The red light is on for record. You can see a little timer here. I can pause that though, which is great. Just if you get interrupted, if you know Amazon comes to deliver something and you can just simply start again. Um, and I'll come to a couple of the other settings in a moment. So yeah, Belinda, you're okay, yeah? I'm fine, thanks, yeah. Now I need to make sure that you and I sound okay. I've tested okay. my levels, I need to test your levels. So um, you just keep chatting. How is uh, how's the weather where you are? Um, it's awful, actually. It's really, really rainy and yeah. a little bit cold. Nothing like it was last week. Oh dear, sorry to hear that. Um, yeah, it's pretty rubbish. I won't tell you that it's, it's sunny here. Is it sunny there? <laughs> yeah, that's difficult. Um, Okay, it so was nice yesterday, so... You're sounding perfect. I'm turning you okay. down just a notch, which is a nice problem to have. It's easier to take volume out than to put it in at a later date. I'm going to stick to the stereo settings. Uh, you're wearing headphones? I am, yeah. Cool. Headphones are great for uh, clean feed because what they tend to do is they uh, reduce the feedback. Sometimes you can get a little bit of an echo. Uh, and it's just part of the technology, the headphones cancels that out. But if Belinda didn't have any headphones, there is a setting that can, um, the, 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 the spires, I suppose is the best way of describing it, to cancel out that, um, that potential feedback. It, it isn't 100% perfect, so wherever possible, get your contributors, get your guests to wear headphones. So I'll put that back into stereo. So yeah, um, we're ready to record whenever you okay. are ready, Belinda. Um, I want okay. to show that you are at Easy, you're comfortable, you know what you're mm -hmm. doing. If there's any questions, feel free. I'm going to start in a moment by um, welcoming people to the podcast. If I see you to introduce yourself, and then we'll see how we go. Is that right? Okay, that's absolutely fine. Cool. Yeah. So, welcome to a Sporting Heritage podcast. My name is Russell Todd, and this is a podcast as part of the Your Sporting Story campaign. Uh, it'll be hosted on the Sporting Heritage channel on SoundCloud. That's sportingheritage.com forward slash sportingheritage. There's a range of content there from other projects related to sport and heritage in the armed forces, for example. There's content from the uh, annual conferences uh, that sport and heritage have hosted in the likes of Liverpool, Bradford, Cardiff over the last few years, uh, and there's some others that are more sort of standalone. But we're going to talk about the Your Sporting Story campaign with, um, with Belinda. How are you, Belinda? Welcome to the podcast. Hi, I'm well, thanks. Thank you for having me. No, you're welcome. Uh, what do people need to know about you? Um, well, I am a, a project coordinator on the Your Sporting Story campaign, so I'm working with Sporting Heritage CIC, um, but I'm also a curator at the National Football Museum in Manchester, so um, I'm really interested in sporting heritage and how we, we share it with as many people as possible. Cool. I made my first visit to the museum, the football museum, it was two years ago, and I was thoroughly 
thoroughly impressed by it. Um, oh, good. It's good. A terrific, uh, a, a terrific um, facility that's, uh, that's there for people. Um, and hoping that there's going to be a, a Welsh equivalent in, in Wrexham before too long. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. Which is uh, one of the episodes that's, that's on that SoundCloud channel that I referred to. Um, so, so today we're just going to talk briefly um, about your sporting story. You've kind of prepared a memory or a story to share with people. Yeah. So uh, what, do you wanna, what do you wanna say? Yeah, it's, it's just to say, say that everybody has a sporting story, probably, even if you don't consider yourself to be particularly sporty. So when I was a, a, a kid, I was quite a sporty kid. Um, I liked taking part in all sports at school. Um, and I've got, I suppose, a pretty typical story for um, a girl born in the 80s. So although I liked all sports um, and football, I sort of was sort of semi pushed towards the sort of more typically um, female sport. So I ended up taking up gymnastics quite seriously um, and I absolutely loved it. And I went from sort of training one day a week up to one point at the height of the training around five times a week. And I was eventually on the on the regional team on the Northwest squad, um, which, you know, I still hold very dear to me as something that it was a big achievement and I have lots of medals and trophies from that period in my life um, that are sort of stored away in a cupboard somewhere and that's the type of object that we're trying to share on this Your Sporting Story um, project is, is getting those heritage stories out there from your own personal story or from a collection you might have at home. No, it's great and it echoes with certain memories um, that I have from, from playing sport. Um, when I was, was young. Um, really grateful for your time, Belinda. Uh, we're going to wrap it up. That's okay. There. Um, I'll let you know when the, the editing is all done, when it's on SoundCloud, I'll share with you the link and then really you can do with Great. it what you like. And uh, yeah, it'd be good to um, good to good, good to see maybe some of those those medals in a more visual uh, media. Yeah, someday. yeah, definitely. That would be great. Thank you very much. No, you're welcome, Belinda. Thank you. Okay. Bye. So, that's our little demonstration podcast. Okay. Belinda is still in the room because she is still here. I could mute her if I wanted, if I had other guests that I just wanted to cover some material with or to talk through some specific instructions. I can mute her so that she, Belinda doesn't make any um, unintended uh, or unwanted uh, contributions and noises. I will unmute her. And uh, yeah, so all I need to do is to let Belinda carry on with her day is to click on this X and she is uh, essentially removed from the room. Uh, she can get back in via that link, but uh, you obviously communicate to your guests that it's already and uh, the recording is over. So Belinda, I will yeah. kick you out politely Brill. of the room. Okay. Yeah. All right. Speak to you soon. You too. Take care. Bye. 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 And Belinda is gone. As simple as that. I could, if I wanted to, send another link to somebody else to contribute, all in this one recording. It's still recording, as you see, with the counter. Uh, it's still picking up my voice, as you can see. Um, but we're done. So what I'm going to do is, uh, and this is the important bit, you don't want to lose this recording. Belinda's kind enough to make her time available in what might be a busy schedule and uh, you don't want to be pestering people to go back again that stands to reason so i've got a couple of options here i can download the individual track by clicking here i can download my individual track or i can just bring them all down in one go and you will see in the bottom left hand my browser which is chrome which is the, the browser that clean feed recommends you use and so we have our zip folder here from CleanFeed with the file name that we recognize, your sporting story demo, the day and the time that it was downloaded. Now I've already unzipped the contents and uh, put them in a new folder. And you'll see the two tracks that we recorded in CleanFeed. It's got Belinda's track that her browser recorded, and it's got my track that my browser recorded. They're both WAV files, which is the default that uh, CleanFeed uh, gives them to you. Uh, there was also a clips file but uh, we don't need to bother ourselves too much about the clips function for the purposes of the demo what we need to do now is to drop these into audacity now uh, audacity is a simple free piece of software that you can download uh, it's got a lot of features uh, which can make things a bit more complicated 
but for the purposes of this demo we're going to just use some of the very simple editing features around sort of cutting and deleting using the silence function it's designed to be very interactive with people who are familiar with the, uh, windows operating system and programs so file edit select view will be familiar to people uh, as will some of the shortcuts around control and k control and v and so on uh, it's got a couple of settings here that you can control which recognizes your input device which in this case is my usb microphone and also the speakers that you wish to use to listen back to the audio belinda in the chat talked about being a child of the 80s and what i quite like about audacity is its sort of throwback if you like to the tape recorders that we used to have back in that decade as youngsters with things like the, you know, the play triangle and the recording red circle, we'll be familiar with those. So what we need to do now is quite simply drag and drop the two WAV files into Audacity, where we can begin to give them a simple edit. The bigger the file, the longer this takes, but given that these are quite short for the purposes of this demo, it'll be fairly quick. And so we have Belinda's track, it's got the name on it, and it's got my track with my name on it. Um, you can maybe just play around with the gain so you can increase um, how loud Belinda comes through, do likewise for me, or even make it a bit quieter because clearly there's a little bit more of me in this recording than there is of Belinda, which is based on the size of the wave uh, that you see in front of you. So what we need to do is get rid of some of the intro, the, the, the flabby sort of um, prelude to what we were talking about. And I reckon it's sort of somewhere here. Well, we're still talking about the weather there. So let's have a look. Are you wearing headphones? I am, yeah. Cool. Headphones are great. Yeah, that's still it. So yes, here we go. Is that right? Okay, that's absolutely fine. Yeah. So welcome to a Sporting Heritage podcast. And there we have it. So... Uh, a terrific feature of Audacity is sync locking the tracks. If they're synced, the tick appears and a little sort of clock figure here appears here. And what that allows you to do is to delete both tracks in synchronicity, which is great because you don't want them getting out of sync quite clearly. So we know that it's all of this and I can take it all the way back to the start. We don't need this. People don't need to listen to that prelude. And just to be clear, we press spacebar and it plays. So welcome to a Sporting Heritage podcast. My name is Russell Top. That's the start that we wanted. So let's have a little look. Yeah, you can see that this is Belinda talking and I'm not talking over her. There's a little bit of a noise there. So what's that noise? We can just... There's a little bit of a bang, we don't want that. Let's get rid of that. And I quite simply use this silencing feature up there, which means that I can edit this bottom track without affecting the top track. Okay, that's important. Now there was a cough at one point. Now where's that cough, I wonder? We can have a little look through. And you can see us interacting and conversing. There's very rarely any bits where we're talking over one another except here is a noise. I suspect this is the cough. So let's have a listen. And I'm right. So again, I don't want to cut it out. If I was to cut it all because it is sync in sync, I would lose all of that top bit of Belinda speaking. And I clearly want to keep that. So let's undo that. I could unsync the tracks and I could just delete mine but what it does, it brings into the conversation a little bit sooner this bit of me, which now is competing with Belinda in, and, and we're talking over one another. This is not what you want. So let's undo that. Let's sync the tracks again. What I can simply do is just silence it. And what I'm replacing noise, what I'm doing there is replacing noise with silence. So there we have it. So there might be a bit more I'd want to do to that. So there's a little bit of there's a little bit of talking at the end, which we don't want. And again, I can just delete that. And it might be rather than the end abruptly, I'd quite like to maybe fade it out. So there we go. Now I might want to add some introduction music and I could add another track at the bottom here, which would allow me to drop in um, the, you know, the, the standard intro music that we use for podcasts and so on and so forth. But for the basic, simple edit, um, 
that's all you need. Now an Audacity file is of no use to anybody outside of Audacity. So what we need to do is export it. And there's a number of formats it can be exported in, but I'm gonna go for an MP3, which will be a smaller file than a WAV file. So it will thus be quicker. And I'm gonna call it Your Sporting Story, Belinda. Quite simply, save. Now metadata is important for the simple reason that it allows your podcasting apps, the programs, platforms you use to listen to podcasts to order the content that you download and stream. And, uh, and that's important certainly because it helps people find your podcast and uh, if they can't find it, they can't listen to it. So uh, I could add a bit more in, but for the purposes of this, I'll just quickly add in the title of the organization who is sort of publishing, making available the podcast, which is Sporting Heritage CIC. And you will see that it's exporting that quite quickly. Something to bear in mind with an MP3 format, for every minute of audio that you've recorded, Audacity will uh, export it about one megabyte. So one minute is equivalent to one megabyte. A 40 minute conversation is a 40 megabyte file. So they are quite large um, as, uh, uh, as, as files can be. Now we go back to check where we've saved it and it is all there. So here's some of the metadata pulled through. I could have added a bit more as I say. It's got the title and it's got the mp3 file um, file type listed to make it distinct from the source. Now I, I would keep hold of those because it could be that I want to go back and make another edit um, if, I, if I so wished. But uh, we've now got our finished podcast file. And so now I go to SoundCloud where I have logged in as Sporting Heritage. And here are some of the playlists that we have for the project, individual projects that Sporting Heritage is running, some of the content that is sort of standalone as well. But for the purposes of this, I simply want to upload a file. So I go to upload. I look for the file and it's in the downloads folder. You know, it's in here and there it is. And so I download uh, that and you'll see it uploading here quite quickly. You'll see this bar moving to the right, uh, which is uh, what we want to see. I can change the URL perhaps to put Belinda Scarlet maybe. Um, it's, ooh, it's not a genre as such. Uh, so I will just list it under sports. Um, what sort of tags might we use? Well, it's potential, potentially the case that people are searching for sporting heritage, um, or they might search for your sporting story, given that's a wider campaign. So I might put those in to help people find the track. A description I think is always helpful. It gives people a little bit of information as to what they're about to listen to. Uh, it's courteous, if nothing else. Uh, and I've prepared some of that already. And so I can just paste that in and uh, there we have it. It's a private track because we don't want people to be publicly listening to this. It's just a demo track. I could make it public or I could schedule it if it was part of a broader campaign or if I was on leave or something like that to schedule it to go live at a later date. It's also important to put an image just because it makes it a bit more visually eye-catching. And uh, given that Belinda was talking about sport in her childhood, I thought this might be a playful, mischievous way of uh, relate, relating the content uh, in some sort of image way. It's a sign I'm sure many of us will remember from our youth. And, and that's it sort of done. It says that it's click save, uh, that it's ready, that it's click save to post this track. Uh, I'm happy with all of that. I've got a little bit more metadata that I can put in here. So for the purposes of this, I'm going to say that not only is the artist Sporting Heritage, it is also the publisher. It doesn't contain any music, so I'll make change that. And I will also make it clear that it contains no explicit content, but a bit more I could do. But for the purposes of this, I think that is fine. And so now I have a track. Let's go and see what it looks like alongside the others. And here it is. I'll delete that, which is an earlier version of this that I prepared. And again, it shows how quickly something can be deleted. And here we have it, alongside all of the other tracks. It's got the information that we've uploaded, 
it's got the picture that we recognize it's categorized under sport that's the title we've given it here is the url that we've given it and uh, it could be that i see something that i'm not happy with and i just want to tweak or change or correct like a typo and i can edit it here i can add it to a playlist if it was part of uh, uh, another particular project um, but for the purposes of this i just want to show how you could share it because it has its own unique url it is quite simply a case of just copying that and pasting it into an email or a message of some description i can also share it from a particular point within the recording say from one minute 40 seconds and uh, and it, and it would um, the link would automatically play at that point when people click on it uh, i don't want to do any of that just for the time being uh, and there we have it that is quite simply how you prepare your podcast how you record it via clean feed how you edit it by audacity and how you could use soundcloud to host it and distribute it